Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the text for the mobile info bar in your Squarespace website. Now at the time of recording this, the mobile info bar is a premium feature that's only available in business and commerce plans. And if you haven't set one up on your website, check out the related videos linked below. I have a tutorial that will walk you through it step by super simple step. But if you already have one enabled, let's customize those fonts. I'm going to share my screen here and I'll show you exactly how we can customize the mobile info bar text using just a little bit of CSS. Let's get started. So here we are inside Squarespace. And unfortunately, we can only see the mobile info bar when we're actually looking at that option in edit mode. So if I select settings and mobile information bar, here we'll see the mobile info bar at the bottom of my screen. I've got email, call, map, and hours all selected, but the font is super tiny, and that's what we're going to change using custom CSS. Now, all of these codes are listed in the description below, but we have one code that's going to change the color of the font. This code is going to change the font size. This code is going to make it bold, and this code combines all three of those options. So we're going to start here, and I'll show you what these changes look like. Copying this code right here, I'm going to go back to my main menu and I'll navigate to design and then I'll select custom CSS. I'm going to paste the code right here. Now this first code says color purple exclamation point important. There's already a color assigned to the label, so I had to make sure the browser pays attention to my code. That's why I said exclamation point important. I'm using the web safe color name purple, but you can use a hex color code if you want to, whatever color code you like to. After that, I've said font size 1.5 REM. Again, I've said exclamation point important. There's already font size assigned to that specific label, so it's important to make sure the browser sees our code. We can also change that to 25 PX, any length value you want to use. And the very last option here, I've said font weight bold. This is going to make that text bold. That isn't a setting that we're overwriting, so we don't need to say exclamation point important. Now there's one code I didn't add to this landing page here, but I'm gonna go ahead and add it now. We're going to say font family, and here I'll actually say Poppins, exclamation point, important. That's the name of the font that I use on my site. There's a default sans serif font used for the mobile info bar, but if you know the name of a font family currently installed on your site, you can say font family Poppins. After you've added all the changes you want to see, select save, hop back to our main menu here, and then we'll navigate to settings and select mobile information bar. And now we can see how drastically different this looks. Now let's talk about all four things that we changed here. If we scroll up, we changed the color with mobile info bar trigger label, color purple important. Change the word purple to whatever color you want it to be. After that, we changed the font size. In this example, I wrote 1.5 REM, but I changed that to 25 PX or 20 PX. I don't quite remember what I typed, but this value right here is what you want to change. After that, we went ahead and said, make it bold. And then last but not least, we also gave it a font family. I'll go back to CSS so you can see that code, but let's go ahead and hop in here one more time so we can get a refresh mobile info bar. We can see how much larger the text is, how it's the custom font, color, size, and it's bold. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's hop back over to our custom CSS so I can show you where I added that. We selected design and then custom CSS at the bottom. This is where our code is. I'll go ahead and add some spaces so we can really see these laid out. All four options we went for, there we go. So the first one, again, change the word purple to whatever color you want it to be. Change 25 PX to whatever size you want. Make it bold if you want to. And if you know the name of the font family you want to change it to, you can add that there. Now, if you don't want to add all of those things, maybe you just want it to be purple and bold, just remove the part of the code that you're not interested in. This right here is going to make it bold and purple and nothing else. We'll select save. Let's go back. Select settings, mobile info bar. And there we go. The font size is back to normal. It's that sans serif font that it was before instead of Poppins, but it is bold and it is purple. So again, use whichever codes you're comfortable with. All of these are listed in the description below. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. And those codes that I just shared with you are listed in the description below. Now, if this is your very first time using CSS to customize Squarespace, I would love to teach you the basics. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. There you can grab my free guide to getting started with customizing Squarespace with code. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. 
Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment, and definitely subscribe to my channel, because I post a brand new tutorial every single week, and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF, available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.